Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at 0.158. The release came out today, so I'm going to be taking you through a few of the new features which are in this patch. First thing's going to be some advanced build options. If I'm going to take this yellow hardened hull wedge, I'm just going to dog them in here in a few random places, like this. Okay, then I'm going to get my white back. Right, okay, so I'm going to show you the selective remove feature. So like I say, the first thing I'm going to do, I want to get rid of these in one go. So I'm going to set my build area, okay, to be 5x5 five five on remove. Now if I was to remove this now, I'm going to take everything out and that's not what I wanted to do. So obviously the first thing I've got is undo. If I undo, it'll roll back. Redo, it'll put back what I just did, okay? If you do undo again, however, that's not going to work. So bear that in mind, all right? Okay, so we've had a look at the uh, undo and redo and the limitations of that. So now I'm going to use these uh, mesh wedges to show you the selective remove. So we're going to go pick remove filter. I'm going to select the uh, metal mesh wedge, which is under M. So let's see, R, S, T. So where are we? Uh, there we go, metal mesh wedge. And then remove, and as you can see, it'll just remove what you want. So obviously if you wanted to take out like the old SDBBs or you don't want any of these effect computers anymore, you can just simply go pick the block that you want to remove and then build mode remove it really quick, real easy, just to swap out and strip and refit. So this is going to be a very powerful option for you guys. So you've got undo and you've got the remove filter, which will only remove that block when you have it selected. Okay, so next up is the copy paste. So I'm going to copy this nacelle into the middle, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is change the corner to a normal block. And then I'm going to use 5 by 5 by 25. As you can see in the server.cfg, you can now set the max for the build sliders. Now, if I put my mouse over this face, it's actually going to put the box back past me. When I click copy, it's going to move that area, so just bear that in mind that when you click copy, it will move the box. So, left click, copies, and then I have already put a block in the air to build off of. So, like I say, if I now click paste and build. Okay, so here we are in the finished item. So, I've, like I say, I've used the copy paste feature to move this nacelle just to here. And as you can see, um, it's just as simple as actually selecting the one you want, pasting it in place, and then tidying it up. So like I say, that is the copy-paste feature. I copied this nacelle to here, as I just showed you a second ago. Um, the only thing you'll have to remember to do is, of course, change the penta back on that corner there, and um, remove the uh, block that you had out in the air to place it. So, And then that's done. Now you've got a triple nacelled Star Trek ship, you know. That's the first thing I could think of to use copy paste. Um, and like I say, all it required was the custom server.cfg so that I could fit the build area over the thing I wanted to do the copy paste on. So that's pretty much everything to show you with that. Moving on, I've got these. Now, these are all of the capsules for the uh, ores and for the crystals. The crystals are all um, light emitting and these ones are not so obviously we've got them for all the colors on both the ores and the crystals so they're looking really nice and like i say uh, with the addition of the remove filter and the undo we're going to see this being used in the crystal uh, in the corrupt new crafting update which is coming um, another thing to mention of course if we take a look over at the y hole barbecue is the HP for certain decorative blocks has actually been increased. Most non-H non-hull blocks have been decreased. However, these, for example, the maximum HP of the hull stripes, the hazard stripes, the HP's gone up, which means they appear damaged. Now it might not stay that way, um, but at present you might need to just go around with an Astrotech beam and repair up your damaged your damaged decorative blocks. Um, I will say though that I'm really welcoming the reduced HP on terrain. Um, so like I say, I can't wait to see what else gets adjusted. Okay, so in addition to the updates with um, in addition to the updates with the capsule and build mode, we also have changes to shields. So 
If we now take a look in the shop and go up to ship, the old shield blocks are coming up in the volume. So your shield capacity is determined by the shield capacitator block. And then the shield recharger block will give you your shield recharge. So if you're wondering why you've got no recharge, you need to fit re shield recharger blocks. In addition, the shields have been rebalanced, okay? Um, shields are now divided uh, into... Thrust is also in balancing, so bear in mind that this is due to be changed. So, like I say, uh, it has been adjusted with more configurable values to be in line with the new balance numbers. Uh, the new crafting system is coming, so you can sell the L1 and L5s, but it's moving over to the ore, crystal and capsule system that we're looking at just here. Collision damage has been updated, and the damage effect should now be more realistic based on the mass and velocity of the two entities. We hope to be showing you something to do with that in due time. In due time. Um, but that's pretty much all the major uh, changes in the new patch. Like I say, running through them one more time, we have undo, redo, copy, paste, the remove filter. The mass place size is now uh, determined in the server.cfg. Placing in large volume has a high risk of lag, so on our server we're only using 25. Uh, single player is obviously up to you. Uh, shields are now divided into two blocks. Thrusters have been rebalanced. And block HP for non-hull blocks has had a reduction in HP. This should be followed with a redu reduction in mass in a later patch. Uh, the new crafting system is changing. You're looking right now at the capsules for the crystals and the ores. Collision damage has had a, bit, a bigger update. Uh, there have been various bug fixes, debugging and duping been fixed as well. So thanks to everybody watching and I'll be showing you more and more with this next time.